You got it, you got it. Pull up, pull up, pull up a shot. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shot. Yo, what is up, AD team? Austin Dunham back again with another video. So today we are back at the Calisthenics Park. And guys, this park has been closed for over six months now. I'm so excited to be back. So you guys know I had to do a video for you guys here today. And today we're gonna to talk about the five most underrated exercises in calisthenics. So I was thinking about exercises that a lot of people don't do, but they provide a lot of value and benefit to you no matter what you're doing. So like I said, we're gonna discuss the top five. Stay tuned, let's get right into it. All right, so the first underrated exercise, and you guys have heard me talk about this one a ton, and that is the almighty pseudo planche push-up. Now the reason why this push-up exercise is so underrated is because one, a lot of people don't do it, and two, they don't realize the benefit that it brings to your other pushing strength skills. So I think this is probably the 60th time I've showed this exercise, but let me show you how to do it. Hands by your side, wrist turn out, arms straight, lean in. You wanna protract the scapula and keep your butt down. Then from there, come down and come back up. And the way you progress this is by simply leaning further in to where your hands are almost by your waist. If you get good at pseudo push pushups, you're gonna be able to do a one-arm push-up. You're gonna be able to do explosive push-ups with ease. Overall, the carryover is really, really high. That is why, in my opinion, it's really, really underrated. And if more people started including pseudo push pushups, or any type of variation in their routine, then they're just gonna get stronger at a lot of other pushing skills, right? All right, so the second exercise that is most underrated is body to waist rows. So just like this little planche push-up, we're pushing from our waist, and a lot of people don't pull from their waist with their body weight. So I'm gonna show some of my favorite variations with that. When our leg is above the bar, so like this, then you pull to your waist, Just getting that activation in the rear delts and having an overall balance and structural balance in your routine with horizontal and horizontal pushing and pulling. You'll see people doing like Australian rows like this, where they're pulling more to their chest. But try and progress to the body to waist rows even more and you're gonna get that much stronger and it's gonna help you with a lot of front level work if that is one of your goals. All right, underrated exercise number three is a stomach to wall handstand push-up. Not the back to wall handstand push-up, not the pipe push-up, but the stomach to wall. And the reason why this one is so underrated is because the way it correlates to a freestanding handstand push-up that a lot of people don't realize. So if we look at a freestanding handstand push-up, what you'll notice is your shoulders will go past your palms like this, right? And so when it comes to the wall handstand push-up, it replicates the same movement. See when I come down, shoulders are still past my palms. Versus when I do back to wall, like this, my shoulders are coming right down above my palms. Once again, if you notice people what they're doing in the gym, if they are even doing this, most of the time it's back to wall. So don't be that person. Try and mix up both. And if anything, I prefer to do stomach to wall. Even knowing I can do freestanding handstand push-ups, when you take out that balance portion of it, um, it just helps you focus more on the strength aspect. And that's another reason how I got my handstand push-up so strong too. All right, exercise number four is the glute ham raise, a lower body exercise. So the glute ham raise is essentially a body weight hamstring curl that almost nobody can do like a lot of people can't do it i brought my friends to the gym to see if they can do it even one of the most strongest people they can't do it and that's because one a lot of people don't train it instead they're doing hamstring curls on the machine and stuff like that which it does have its place too but when you implement bodyweight hamstring curls on either one of those big machines or uh somebody holding your feet you're gonna feel it in your hamstrings and it's crazy and not only do you get a lot of hamstring activation, but you get lower back and a little bit of calf work too, in which that isn't replicated through any other hamstring exercise. So if you're able to do so, 
try them out. And if you can't do them, try doing it negatives first. That's how I learned to reach up to my full five or six reps or so. All right, so now the last underrated exercise, the fifth one, and that is the almighty king of all exercises, the weighted pull-up. The weighted pull-up is how I built 98% of my back strength, is how I got these lats, is how I developed my back over the years. A lot of people ask how. It's a weighted pull-up. Now, I don't have any weights with me, but you can either use a weight vest, you can use weight belt and weight plates, which is my preferred way of doing it. Not even the weighted pull-up. You can't do weighted pull-ups. I feel like the pull-up itself is an underrated exercise too, because once again, a lot of people aren't doing them. Instead, they're opting out to do lat pull-downs, but they don't realize how much back development and strength they're missing out on by not doing pull-ups. And even if they are doing pull-ups, they're usually doing it wrong. So the pull-up itself is just a totally underrated exercise and an exercise a lot of people should focus on getting stronger at and should be doing multiple times a week. That is how you get stronger at pull-ups is by simply doing them. Yes, you can still do your lat pull-downs. I've been doing a little bit more lat pull-downs recently. Um, but all, all I'm trying to say is don't forget to do your pull-ups. Then once you do get get up pull-ups, start doing them weighted. You're not going to regret it. Guys, that was the top five underrated exercises in the world of bodyweight training and fitness itself. Hopefully, you're doing these five exercises because I'm telling you, if you're not, you're missing out on a lot of gains. So before I go, I want to let you guys know that you can get a free 14-day trial to my training app down below in which a lot of these exercises are included. Completely free for two weeks. Check it out. Let me know how you like it. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.